Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. A question that comes up every now and again is how can I make an animation with that old school traveling over a map look? You know, you see a map and then a red solid or dashed red line to indicate the locations that are being visited. You know what I'm talking about. And there are a lot of ways that this can be done. But in this podcast, I'll show you a quick tip with shape layers that will get the job done fast, especially with regard to dashes, which can be difficult using other methods. So here I am in After Effects with an old map. I'm going to plot out a trip which will take me around this fictional world which I call Aronia. So to start, let's choose Layer, New, Shape Layer. This creates an empty shape layer that allows us to add our own custom shapes. I'm going to go up to the top here and click on the word Fill to make sure that my fill is set to None. Then I'll click OK to confirm and then I'll click on the word stroke to make sure that it's set to solid color and again I'll click OK to get out. Finally, I'll set my stroke color to red and also when that's done I'll set my stroke size up a bit. I don't know, maybe up to 12. Okay. Now, with my shape layer selected I'll go up to the tools palette and I'll select the pen tool. Then I'll jump down to my composition window and I'll add my first point at the island of Narnia. Yeah, and before you geek out and send me any emails about how Narnia isn't an island, it's a world, I'll ask you to strongly consider the nerdy implications of doing that. Okay, from Narnia, I'll move up to Mordor, or Mordor, if you please, which used to be a great neighborhood until that flaming eye moved in, and now it's all, I see you, and can I borrow a cup of sugar? That dude is such a mooch and a bit of a peeping Tom to boot. As you can see, when we added the second point, a line was created between the two points. Next, from Mordor, we'll hang a right and head towards the mystical island of Manhattan, where one can get sushi at 3 in the morning. Yeah, try doing that on Middle Earth, right? Okay, add a point, and with that done, I'll activate the selection tool so that I don't accidentally add more points. Next, I'll go down to the timeline and twirl down the shape layer properties, and I'll click on the Add button. And from the Flyout menu, I'll choose Trim Paths. This effect allows us to animate the start and end points of this line. To do that, I'll twirl down the Trim Paths properties and you'll see a Start, End, and Offset property. In short, the Start and End properties determine where the stroke begins and ends along the path. So if I lower the End property, as you can see, the path is trimmed at the end. Same thing with the start property. Now offset, on the other hand, determines where along the path the start and end points actually sit. So by lowering or raising the offset value, we're moving the start and end points together along that path. This might be useful in some of your animation work, but for this project, I won't be using it. So I'll just set that back to zero revolutions and zero degrees. Also, at the first frame of my timeline, I'll set my start and end values both to 0%. Then I'll set a keyframe for the end value. Then I'll move down to the 3 second mark, the end of my composition, and I'll set an end value of 100%. If I do a quick RAM preview, I can see that my line is being drawn over the map. Now to add some dashes, we've already covered this in my tutorial called An Introduction to Shape Layers, but for the purposes of getting this done, in the timeline, twirl down the properties for shape 1, our path, and then twirl down the stroke properties. Then, next to the word dashes, click on the plus button, which, as you can see, turns our line into dashes. Then go into the dashes property and raise the dash property until you're satisfied with the size of the dashes. Then, hit the plus button again, which adds a gap property. This property determines the distance between dashes. Set this value to something that works for you. Now, if for some reason you aren't happy with the exact location of the dashes, you picky little hobbit, you can try playing with the dashes offset value to move them along the path. Oh, also, if you wanted a curvy shape to the path instead of uh, an angular one like I've created, you can use the Convert Vertex tool up here at the top and just click-drag on your shape layer point and as you can see, it becomes curvy. 
Personally, I don't want to do that, at least not for this project, so I'll just undo that. OK. Finally, just to mix the colors in a little bit, I'm going to set the shape layers blending mode from normal to multiply. A quick RAM preview, and there you have it. Your dashes are being animated on over the map. Hopefully, this will help you get from point A to point B in your work. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. I see you. <clears throat> yeah. Can I borrow some sugar? I'm baking a cake. Right. And and so then the first elephant, uh -huh. he says, Yeah. Yeah. No soap radio. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, those elephants—they crack me up, you know.